Good evening. I am the Reverend Angela Peverell and I am a priest at both Christchurch Cathedral, Newcastle and St Peter's, Hamilton. And it's my pleasure to invite you to join me in saying evening prayer tonight. Wednesday evening on page 405 of your prayer books or you can follow it on the evening prayer part of the app. Our psalm tonight is Psalm 89 and our reading is Romans chapter 5 verses 12 to 21. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all the people shall see it together. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. The Canticle, the Song of Praise God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your salvation among the nations. Let all the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will bring forth its increase, and God our own God will bless us. You, O oh God, will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear you. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of Lights, Receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 89 on page 315 and we will say verses 1 to 4 and then 9 to 38. Lord, I will sing forever of your loving kindness. My mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I have said of your loving kindness that is built forever. You have established your faithfulness in the heavens. The Lord said, I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn an oath to my servant David. I will establish your line forever and build up your throne for all generations. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves surge, you still them. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies by your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, so also is the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Mount Hermon shall sing of your name. Mighty is your arm, strong is your hand, and your right hand is lifted high. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Loving kindness and faithfulness attend your presence. Happy are the people who know the triumphant shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They rejoice all the day long because of your name. Because of your righteousness, they are exalted. For you are their glory and their strength, and our heads are lifted up by your favour. Our kings belong to the Lord, he that rules over us, to the Holy One of Israel. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful one, I have set a youth above a warrior, 
I have exalted a young man out of the people. I have found my servant David and anointed him with holy oil. My hand shall uphold him and my arm strengthen him. No enemy shall deceive him, no, nor shall the wicked hurt him. I will crush his adversaries before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and loving kindness shall be with him, and through my name his head shall be lifted high. I will set the hand of his dominion upon the western sea, and his right hand shall stretch to the streams of Mesopotamia. He will call to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn son, the highest among the kings of the earth. I will ever maintain my loving kindness towards him, and my covenant with him shall stand firm. I will establish his line for ever and his throne like the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and will not walk in my judgments, if they profane my statutes and do not keep my commandments, then I will punish their rebellion with the rod and their iniquity with blows. But I will not cause my loving kindness to cease from him, nor will I betray my faithfulness I will not profane my covenant or alter what has passed from my lips. Once and for all I have sworn, sworn by my holiness, I will not prove false to David. His posterity shall endure for ever, and his throne be as the sun before me. Like the moon that is established for ever, and stands in the heavens for evermore. God of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading is from the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 5, verses 12 to 21. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death came through sin, and so death spread to all because all have sinned. Sin was indeed in the world before the law. But sin is not reckoned when there is no law. Yet death exercised dominion from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who is a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass, for if the many died through the one man's trespass, much more surely have the grace of God and the free gift in the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for the many. And the free gift is not like the effect of one man's sin, for the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation. But the free gift following many trespasses brings justification. If because of the one man's trespass, death exercised dominion through that one, much more surely will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of the righteous exercise dominion in the life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, just as one man's trespass led to the condemnation for all, so one man's act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all. For just as by the one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience the many will be made righteous. 
that law came in with the result that the trespass multiplied. But where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So that just as sin exercised dominion in death, so grace might also exercise dominion through justification, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And on this, the Feast of the Annunciation of our Blessed Virgin Mary, we say together the canticle, the Song of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promises of mercy the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Our collect for Lent full. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the richness of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of hope and love, you made the world and care for all creation, but the world feels strange right now. We pray for ourselves and for our world in which each and every one of us are affected by the coronavirus through illness or isolation or anxiety, especially those who are fearful for their own well-being or that of their family and friends who are elderly or otherwise vulnerable to the threat of infection. We pray that all may find relief and recovery. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our church throughout the world, for our Diocese of Newcastle, our Bishop Peter, his assistant Sonia and Charlie, and for the management and staff of our diocesan office. We pray for our clergy and all the people of our parish communities and their extended communities dispersed in isolation at this time. Thank you that even in these anxious times you are with us Lord. Help us to find peace. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, our federal, state and local governments and those in opposition and shadow cabinet, that they may make wise and effective decisions. Help our leaders to put their trust in you and to discern best how to keep us safe. 
Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for health professionals, especially doctors and nurses, and all those working at the front line of diagnosing and treating the COVID-19 virus. And for those researching and developing treatments and cures. And we hold up in prayer all who cannot self-isolate and must continue to work in the community, remembering especially our emergency services and essential services personnel. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have contracted the virus, for the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. We entrust all who suffer your tender care. Know that whatever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the souls of all who have died recently, either from COVID-19 or other causes. Remembering all those who mourn and miss the companionship and care of their loved ones. God of love, we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to your mercy and protection. Accept our evening prayers through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen. May you have a peaceful night and the peace of the Lord always be with you.